Hey cosplayers, I get the question about patterning all the time. I, I don't know if you've had this uh, or not, but have you ever been intimidated about trying to create a pattern for a character that you're working on and you've maybe tried to find an existing pattern but it's more of an obscure character and you can't find an existing pattern anywhere so you're like, oh, I have to make my own pattern. How am I gonna do this? In today's video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to create a simple pattern, easy peasy. If you guys are excited for this, I want you to comment in the comments right now with the words easy peasy, just to let me know that you guys are excited about learning how to make patterns, all right? If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We have these quick cosplay quick tip clip videos coming out weekday, every weekday, and you don't wanna miss any because you wanna keep on top of that and stay at the top of your game so you can cosplay like a boss. With that, let's go ahead and jump in. This method is called the tin and tape method, all right? And it works very well for any um, patterning pieces that are gonna fit well to you uh, and fit directly kind of in a form-fitting manner. And so we're gonna just show you real quick with this method, uh, creating a simple pauldron, okay? So you grab a piece of tin foil. That's the tin of the tin and tape method, even though it's made out of a aluminum, aluminum foil, tin foil, whatever you wanna call it. And you're just gonna press this onto the area, right? If you were trying to make a uh, chest plate or a uh, breastplate or something like that, not a pauldron, or you're even just for your uh, van brace or something like that. You're just gonna wrap it around the area that you're wanting to mimic, like this. I've already got a couple pieces of tape ready to go. And then you're gonna start, it helps if you have another person or if you have a uh, duct tape dummy that fits your same body shape, but if you do not, then uh, feel free to go check out my video on how to make one, or you can do it on your own. Just try to, it helps if you have your um, tape pieces kind of already pre, at least a bunch of them already kind of pre ready to go like I have here, because it's hard to hold everything on. So what I'm doing is I started with kind of a criss and a cross, and now I'm doing diagonals here. And essentially what you're gonna do is you're just, you're wanting to make sure that as you're pressing this tape down that you're, you're scooping it to fit you so that it keeps that tin foil. It's basically helping the tin foil know where to stay because the tin foil will take shape and hold, but then after that, it's gonna just release on its own. This tape helps to then secure it down and give it a little bit of more rigidity and hold it in place once you're a little bit further along in the process. Okay, so let me grab a couple more pieces. And you just wanna, you wanna go a little bit further, like tape out further than what you actually think you'll need um, for the piece that you're doing. Like let's say if the piece only came up to here, um, I'm gonna actually tape even further down and a further up, just so that you have a little bit of room that you can uh, cut off so that you don't accidentally end up being short because it's a little bit easier to, to cut extra off than it is to add more on. And it helps too here um, if you want to help keep it on there, you can actually kind of throw a piece of tape onto that tinfoil and then tape it to your shirt on either side to help it stay for you a little bit better. Get a couple more. So and you're just gonna take the tape and tape it in a couple different directions. I'm just using regular masking tape here. Um, a lot of people will use painter's tape, but I feel like it's um, kind of a waste of money to buy a tape that's meant to be able to pull off really easily um, for doing this. And um, some people will use duct tape. Uh, I find that you don't need it to be as strong, you don't need it to be as super strong like duct tape. Um, and duct tape's a lot more expensive. You can buy a pack of this stuff um, really inexpensively at any hardware store. Um, and it actually sticks better than your painter's tape but it's not as crazy strong as your duct tape, so it's a good in-between and the light color makes it really easy to be able to draw your details on to the pattern. So let's see, did I get a, some good coverage here? <clears throat> Enough to be able to show the example. Yeah, I think so. So, all right, so 
right? We're creating a pauldron. I want it to fit my shoulder, and it's one of those pauldrons that does fit, you know, very close to the, to the shoulder. So now what we can do is take this off. And actually, um, what I would do, especially if you do have someone else to help you, it's helpful. If not, you can do it. I've done it plenty of times myself as well. So you can go in with pencil and uh, usually helps to stand in front of a mirror. Um, go in and kind of draw that shape, um, the outline of that pauldron, the, the look and shape of it, and face the mirror this way. Um, draw it out, look at the mirror, and see if it fits the same shape as your reference image, and then go to the side, and if you have a side image of your character, make sure that you kind of get that side look as well. Um, depending on the pauldron, you may be able to just draw half of it, and then duplicate that um, shape, fold it in half, duplicate that shape on the other side just to mirror it. Um, but if it's like not perfectly symmetrical, then you'll want to just draw the whole pauldron out on, on there. So then once you have kind of your outline done, you can pull it off. And now you can see that it held that shape, right? You probably want to have marked your front and back. And so now you can see I've got that uh, pauldron shape. I can then come in here and continue to draw my details, any kind of uh, extra little details that need to go on it and different things. And in a future video, I'll show you guys how to then take this from this 3D aspect and then turn it into a 2D aspect, or a 2D form to be able to then trace it onto your phone. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Uh, an easy way to be able to create uh, simple patterns that fit well to you and using the tin and tape method. Make sure to stay tuned for the other ones. We've got plenty of uh, cosplay uh, patterning tip videos coming out uh, in the next couple days and hopefully they'll be super helpful for you guys. Make sure to let us know what is your greatest challenge when it comes to cosplay patterning and let us know in the comments right now and hopefully we'll be able to answer your questions in a future video. Thanks for watching guys. Cosplay on.